Okay, here we are, third card for this week for the club card class. Um, this card I've called the Ornate Garden Card. And of course the reason I'm calling it the Ornate Garden Card is because it's using the or Ornate Garden Designer Series paper. It's really, really pretty. Here's the one I made that you're gonna do. And then here's one I made in using uh, terracotta. Both pretty, but I, um, I chose to do this one, this color. More the daisy look, I guess. So anyhow, let's get started. So my card base is crushed curry. Here's my inside piece. I'll put it aside for a minute. And then I've got um, a piece of early espresso cardstock, five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And then a piece of the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper that's five inches by three and three fourths. This is so pretty. It's gold foil on the back side. Hard to choose what you like here. So I'm going to go ahead and put down my designer series paper. And again, I only use the small border because I just wanted a little accent um, around the uh, designer series paper and the uh, crushed curry cardstock. So now that I've done that, I can go ahead and take my ribbon. I used that beautiful gold ribbon. Um, it is still available. This was in the uh, Christmas Rose uh, stamp set, the bundle they had at uh, Christmas time. Everything in that I think pretty much is still for sale. So I've got my ribbon on. So now I can go ahead and place this piece on my card front. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to use this um, ornate um, frame dies. Isn't that so pretty? Um, this is the set of the, the layers, ornate layers dies. I used this one. They're all just gorgeous. So that um, does go with the ornate, um, ornate style, I think is the name of the stamp set. Really pretty. It's a, an early release for the um, new upcoming annual catalog that starts in June. So I took this piece and check and see here. <laughs> I popped it up. Now this particular card, I took it and offset this over to the left. This one, I did it in the center. So you can do it either way that you like the best. This time, I think, I don't know, they're both cute. <laughs> decisions, decisions here. Just gonna peel these off. And I think I'll go in the center this time. Like that, kinda. <laughs> and then I also used um, the stitched rectangle dies in the white. And I um, also popped that one up with dimensionals. I'll just do a couple on this one. And I'll do three. <clears throat> okay. And then I just layered that over top of See how that just fits perfectly in there. Isn't that nice when they do things and it just goes with everything else? That's what I love about stamping up. Okay, then I cut out the thanks 
And this was from the Well Said set. Um, the Well Written dies that go with the. And again, I'm trying to be creative and try to do things that you don't have to stamp as much since we can't have um, meet in class. So then I just put on a little dot of the um, fine tip glue. And then I'll just, now when you use this, you need to make sure you put it back in there right away. That little pin goes right down through the nozzle there. Okay, and then, this is the hard part for me. Picking it up and putting it straight down. Because I always smear the glue. <laughs> okay, so let's just leave that there for a second. Okay, cute. Okay, then I used the uh, small daisy punch and um, this one, I think, went along with the uh, Daisy Lane stamp set. I don't know if I have that one out. Apparently, I do. Here it is. The Daisy Lane. It was the smaller one. Remember, we had this one last year, and it, of course, is still in. And then um, they came out with the smaller one. I'm also going to be using this Daisy stamp on the inside piece. So what I did was I just punched out a couple of the uh, daisies in the crushed curry cardstock. And I'm just going to pop it up here. Almost need to use a smaller one. Kind of bend it a bit. I think I'm going to put it over here this time. And I think I will use a smaller one here for the top piece. back and then I try to stagger that there now these I uh, use the stamp uh, in the stamp set if you have this stamp set and you want to do that you can do that at home if you don't you can just do it just color like that which looks fine as well and um, then I used my faceted gems and I wanted a gold. I've kind of run out ran out of the medium size and I thought the other the small was too small. This one's a little large, but it's okay. I think I gave you all the in your kits this the uh, medium sized ones. And then um, on the inside <laughs> Oh, I got a red one here. On the inside, I have my white five and a quarter by four piece, and I used, I had it out here, there we go, soft suede. Because I thought that, and here, I thought this looked more like soft suede. I used early espresso here, which is fine, but um, I wanted the lighter color um, for the words. So on the outside, of course, it just says thanks. And then on the inside, it says thoughtful, kind, generous, that's you. And this also came from the well said set right here. Okay. I got that one a little crooked. Let's see if we can do it better. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And then I added one of the smaller daisies <clears throat> and I just stamped this one also in the in this color okay so then it's left <clears throat> let that dry for a second just put some tombow on the back and put this on the inside Try to get it even. That's my hardest problems. Okay, there's that. And then one more thing I want to do is use the new Gilded Gems 
They are so pretty and sparkly. This is uh, this also is part of the ornate um, bundle. And so I think I'll just put one, how about right here? And then maybe another one oh, over here. How's that? Cute. So there you have it. That one was really easy and quick and it's adorable. So here it is in another color. So let me know what you think. Tell me which card was your favorite out of these three. And let me grab them all for you here. Okay, tough choice. Okay, you got your tulip, the little uh, puppy, and then the daisy. So, hope you enjoyed these and hope to see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.